We have gotten a lot of requests for a video about this, how to use one email sign-in to manage multiple email accounts. So Slick put together a little tutorial. It's actually not as hard as you might think. So we're gonna be using Gmail for our example, but these steps should be pretty similar in other email accounts, although pretty much the reason we're using Gmail to manage all the email accounts is because it's pretty much what you should be doing. So you go into settings, then you go to accounts and import. So see, I would have gone to something like forward and pop slash IMAP, but that's actually if you want to go the other way around. So we're going to be using accounts and import. We're going to add another email address you own. So in this case, we want the name for anything that we send from that other email address to be still slick PC, so that's fine. And the email address is going to be slick PC test at hotmail, so you can tell we've done this before, at hotmail.com. These two don't really matter because you can edit this one later and that is pretty much it. So next step, send through Gmail. So this is easier to set up. It doesn't make that much of a difference. So yeah, we're just gonna do it that way. Before you can send mail, all you have to do is verify that you actually own that other email address, which is sort of important. So we send a verification over there. An email has been sent with a confirmation code. Then we check over here, Gmail confirmation. Send mail as blah, blah, blah. Here's your confirmation code. Enter that into the other window, which I have lost. There we go. Verify. And that's not quite it. So, okay, here we can change these options again. So all that's fine. So we can go back to our inbox, but you actually have to set up the other email account to forward as well. So you just go into more mail settings, email forwarding, and forward your mail to another email account. So slick PC test at gmail.com. And then you can tell it if you want to keep a copy of the forwarded messages in your Outlook inbox. I probably would. It doesn't seem like a bad idea. Okay. The next thing we have to do is go into Internet Explorer where we had set up a test email, sending to slickpctest at hotmail.com. And I minimized it. Excellent. So we're going to send that and go back to Firefox where we can see in our Gmail inbox, we have no new mail, we have no new mail, we have new mail, there we go. Now what we do is we send back sort of blah, 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 and we can change who we're sending it from. So we can either send it from Hotmail, which is the default because this was sent to the Hotmail account, or we can actually send it from the Gmail account that we're using. So we're gonna send it from Hotmail back to this Gmail account, blah, 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 blah. And you can see that when you click down here, it is coming from the hotmail.com account. So that's, that's it, it's that simple. Pretty cool, hey? Let's see if it's, uh, oh, didn't save in sent, but it does, keep the, uh, it does keep the original one in here. I hope this was helpful. And guys, something to be aware of is Forwarding the emails and sending emails from that account does not necessarily qualify as signing in. So if your email provider has terms such as, you know, make sure you sign in once every year or once every 270 days or whatever it happens to be, you actually have to sign in once in a while. So I would set up a calendar reminder for yourself or something. Thanks for checking out this episode of Linus Tech Tips and we'll see you guys later for more unboxings, reviews and other computer videos.